All right, to get started, we'll go to pixels, type in mountains, and make sure your orientation is horizontal. And let's look for images that is in overcast, so there's no direct sunlight. So we'll try to find images uh, that might fit the need because once we get the overcast kind of indirectly lit it mountain then we can light it in unreal engine or we can use custom light so i think this is a great mountain so let's go ahead and download this and the idea is to use this mountain image as a texture so here we are in blender we'll select all delete everything and make sure you go to edit preference add-on and type in landscape and it should be ant landscape i think and make sure the landscape the plugin is actually checked and is active next go to shift a and then do select the mesh and then landscape it will generate a mesh um, a landscape mesh uh, next we'll put this image on the side so we can actually check at the reference image and try to match it as much as we can by using uh, so yeah make sure you go ahead and select the mountain type operator preset and then let's change the seed uh, so that it matches closely with our reference image I'll go to the side view and then try to see what seed number can generate the reference number so here I'm like just testing out a whole lot playing with the random seed um, yeah and then just experimenting to see what matches the best okay and I think this matches closely with the mountain that we have make sure the resolution is actually 500 by 500 that actually adds a lot of detail but be careful that it might eat up, eat up your resources as well so now we have the mesh which is pretty high rise so I will go ahead and just zoom this in a look at it and we'll do is um, take it to side view go to edit mode and then make sure the x-ray mode is selected so what we'll do is basically select the lower portion of the landscape and select the vertices and then what we'll do is just press x and delete the vertices okay um, now we can go to object mode and we can see that our landscape is ready now the next thing what we'll do is we need to UV map the image texture that we got into this landscape. So first we'll create a material and let's name it mountain material. And uh, basically decrease the, the specular to all the way to zero uh, so that we don't want any shiny lights on it. Um, make sure you go to best color and then select the the image texture and then from that select the image that we just got downloaded so now uh, we have the image texture ready next we'll go to the uv editing mode and go to object mode uh, basically is go ahead and load that image and uh, play around with the mesh to actually match the size of the image so yeah go ahead go to the side view select all you know press the s key and then scale it so that it roughly matches with the shape or size of the image texture go to edit mode um, yeah press u and then do UV project from the view and you'll see that the UV is projected in there now I'll basically select it use the D key to you know grab it move around um, S to scale and play around so that you basically try to match and see where in the image the the, the mesh makes sense you know UV so this is basically experimenting with it you know once that is done then make sure your viewport shading is selected and go to object mode and voila there you go you have a 3d landscape with the texture a very cheap way to do of course you can see that it is not perfect 
but especially for the use case like distance mountain and stuff it is not a bad idea you get it for a very cheap instead of modeling texturing creating materials next to export it to for me for using an unreal engine i'll go ahead and select the fbx and i make sure i give a name mountain you know dot fbx and while you're exporting on the side if you see there's a option called copy so basically it will copy the material now i'm here back in the unreal engine i just import it i'll import the you know the 3d mountain that i had generated from blender and make sure you double click the material by default that it comes with and uh, press one and you get the parameters and put the zero value to the specular so go ahead and save this and next i will just uh, drag this mountain and put it in the scene so that it matches with my reference so basically here i'm just playing around you know testing out uh, where i want to put this mountain in my scene so that it matches with my environment so i'm trying to take it all the way to the distance um, yeah but i'm also trying to make it big and as you can see this is a, a little cheat that i did for creating a small uh, environment actually for this asset uh, i use some quixel uh, tree grass and basically put it on the landscape and here another cheating by <laughs> creating a mountain structure by using yeah this image texture so basically image projection for UV so here I'm just uh, going into my sequencer you know and then trying to play around from what I see from the pilot camera um, uh, so basically the, the idea of this tutorial is not to go into Unreal but rather showing you how to create an asset that you can make it ready for Unreal Engine and this is basically me playing around with the, the asset that we generated earlier and I'm just playing here experimenting with it so basically to generate some variations what I'm trying to do is rotating it so that it doesn't look like I just copied same mountain so you get a different angle from it and yeah the idea is basically uh, creating a variation by using the same asset hey we want to reuse the asset right and there it is a little sequence you can see the birds in the foreground the mountain on the background uh, but I was not done here so I was still copying you know and copying and pasting so we have the almost the final scene ready you know so yeah uh, it's a lot of experimentation but the idea is you can copy those mountains and bring it to Unreal Engine and actually create a fairly realistic looking scene in Unreal Engine and there it is a little sequence yeah I think uh, yeah to so go ahead and play around with it and let me know in the comment if this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one